Hello guys, Stephanie Arwine here again. We're in section three, off-page optimization, and today's topic is indexing your pages. What that simply means is making sure that the search engines index your blog site or your video or whatever you've posted on the internet. We want to make sure that the search engines find those and actually index them. Now I'm going to show you several different ways to do that. Some are free, not some, some of them are a cost item. It's actually a product to use, uh, but it does not cost very much, quite frankly. Uh, and you can find all these tools that I'm going to be talking about in the recommended tools section of journeytosuccess.co. So all you got to do is just look at the recommended tools section and you'll find all the tools that I'm going to be talking about into today's video. So let's jump right over to the web pages and I'll let me show you, share with you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, we're over on the website now, and one of the things you can do to test one of your pages, your pages or your videos or whatever, are actually have been indexed by Google, is simply by one of the ways is we just simply go to Google.com and cl click into the Google search bar, uh, your whatever link you're trying to trying to index and then click the search button. Now what I've done is I've gone to remember that spreadsheet that we've been keeping a journey of. I've actually copied one and I, we're going to find out whether or not this has actually been indexed. So I'm going to put it in there, paste it, and then I'm just going to do a Google search on it and see what happens. All right. This is, uh, did, this particular one, the blog spot, did not match any documents. Uh, you can see this is safeguard by somebody else, an ad. But mine is not indexed yet. Well, that's not to anyone's surprise because I have actually not done anything to market it yet. So here's what we're going to show you with you some things that we, we do today in order to do that. One of the things you can do is just simply go to Google Submitter and just submit it directly onto the search console of Google. Now you can do the search search on uh, Google uh, Submit. Just, just search Google Submit and you can find this page or Bing Submit. You can do the same thing. So I'm going to actually just cut paste that one in here, click that I'm not a robot, and then I can simply submit the request. Now that's one way to do that, but since we have, a, just like I showed you with our spreadsheet, we've got quite a few different uh, URLs that we're going to be uh, linking today, so that would be very time consuming. So an easier way to do it is use a tool like uh, mass.ping or masspinger.com and you can take all of your URLs at once and ping them. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. And again, I'm going to go back to that spreadsheet. Remember I told you how important it was to get all these websites and all these individual pages, links to all these individual pages? Uh, well, I'm going to do, do it then. I'm simply going to click all of these. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste it in mass ping. There they all are. Now, I, this has a little bit of separation, so I'm going to make sure they're all on one line. That is the one thing that they ask you to do is in mass ping, mass dash ping, they ask you to put one link on every line. And then you're going to simply just put some keywords. Well, remember, we had some keywords, too, so I'm not going to use all of them, but I've already got these copied. So all I have to do is just simply take a few of them, copy it, and then paste it into the where, where it requests keywords, and it's done. It's that simple, guys. And then you just simply start pinging. Again, you can do it the hard way, or you can do it the easy way. The other, and I use this tool every day on every post that I do. And I put it on my spreadsheet, and then I turn around and put it in here, and I have it all in one place. The other tool I use, the, this is a pinging, the first one we looked at was a pinging site. You see it's going to all these different sites. And it does. You, you can just keep going, and you can go somewhere else. You don't have to pay attention to it. It, it works. In, it works in the background. The other tool I use is called Backlinks Indexer. It is a. It's have they have. You can start out with a free free account, and they have several different levels of membership. And uh, until you get really involved in it, I go ahead and just get the lower level. The only re only difference between the different sites is how many backlinks you can do every month. I've been using this lower one, level one, and I get, I, I think, 300. I can backlink 300 a month, and so far, uh, I'm just pushing the limit last month, so this month I may have to increase. You see today is the ninth 
July 9th is the day's date when I'm recording this. I've already done 76 out of my 300 allowed. I'm only allowed at the level I'm paying for 10 per day. So uh, depending on how much you're going to be indexing and how much you're going to do will depend on the level of membership you get. But again, you need to get this tool and it does not cost that much per month. And you can find this tool in the recommended tool section of uh, journeytosuccess.co. But again, I've already got these. I've already got the, uh, well, no, I know I don't. Let me go back. Sorry, I stutter because I'm trying to talk and talk to you at the same time. I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy all of my links. And remember, we want one, one per line. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that there's one per line and no spaces. <clears throat> Again, this there's an optional button here. I allow duplicate URLs. I go ahead and click that in, just in case I have a duplicate that I didn't catch. And also, it doesn't hurt. Sometimes if I have a slow month, I'll go back several days, uh, say a month or so, and, and hit the uh, backlinks again. I don't know that that's necessary, but it seems to have helped mine, so I do that I do that periodically, but I don't pay attention to it. If I, if I haven't done it, it's not that important. All right, guys, look, all i got to do, I've copied it. This, this particular one does not ask for tags or keywords. So I'm, you notice that I'm submitting nine links. I've got nine links available for this. What I've done is I, are the two YouTube, the, the header and the short, sh the long tail keyword and the short tail keyword. I've gone to the IBO tube, IBO social, my blog, my blog post. I picked up one Facebook post, my twi one Twitter post, and then one group post. So see, so I've got all those, and all I need to do is so I'm going to submit nine. And remember, I told you that my daily limit is only six. I'm sorry, is is ten. My daily limit is ten. So, <clears throat> uh, if this was the, these were the only ones I've done today, I'd be okay. But I know I've already submitted some some earlier today before I started making this video. So what will happen is is they'll just roll over to the following day. So if you do more than say I'm my limit is ten. Per day, well, then it will only process 10, and then whatever is left over, it'll start processing tomorrow. So that's where you have to, to evaluate which level of membership is best for you. If you're going to be doing a, a lot of a, a lot of backlink indexer that indexing, then you probably need a, a higher limit. And I think I'm about going to, going to upgrade my account here pretty soon. But then all you got to do is just hit the submit button, guys, and that's all there is to it. It's very very simple. Uh, what we've done now, this is, you're finished. You, you, you are finished with this YouTube video. So to retrack what, retrack what we've done, we very simply, we've created the video. We have uh, put it on several, two or three different blog sites, including IBO Toolbox. And if you don't, haven't seen that video, but go back and watch on journeytosuccess.co. Go back a couple of pages and watch how to put up, how to put up, create a press release. We've put, so we put it on two or three different blog posts. We've got two two links inside of YouTube itself to promote. We've uh, we've sent it to all our different social sites such as Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and StumbleUpon, etc. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that. And then the last thing, this is the last thing I do. And, and what I'm showing you, uh, it's taking a little bit longer because I'm showing you and I'm 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 teaching you as I go. But I do this, guys, every day with every single YouTube video I do. These are the exact steps I use to get my YouTube videos ranked. And if it works for me, I know it will work for you. Guys, I'm going to end up this in this video today. I hope you found value. If you did, please leave your comments below. And remember that I do all these trainings for free. So all I'm asking is if you will please just simply uh, not only leave your comments, but also share this video as well. Guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next video. And remember, this is not through. I've got some more tips for you coming up, so stay tuned.